Hi everyone. So I want in this short video talk about the MDNS and how to set it up in a few popular operating systems, Linux operating systems. So what is MDNS? MDNS stands for Multicast DNS. So as you probably know, the purpose of DNS in general is to translate names, domain names, to IP addresses. Usually it's done using a DNS server, but there is a built-in feature we have it in Mac, we have it in Linux, we also have it in Windows. In Linux, this service is, is called Avahi. I think in Mac it's called Bonjour, something like that. Anyway, the goal here is to allow us to communicate or to access a different computer that is on the same network using a domain name rather than the IP address of this other computer. And once again, this is a local IP address. We're not talking here about public IP addresses, only within the same local network. And using this service, we can access this other computer using a user-friendly name. The name that MDNS uses usually is based on the host name. So, for example, if my computer, if my operating system is called Kali, this is the name that will be used for the MDNS protocol within the local network. So what we're going to see in this video, in this short video, is how to set it up in three Linux operating systems. Namely, it's going to be Kali, which is this machine we currently see, the desktop we currently see. And we're also going to see how to set it up in Debian and Alpine Linux. It's very simple. Once you know how to do it, you can do it in minutes. And once again, it's going to allow us to more easily access the other machines. So first, let me log into my other machines, my other servers, the Debian server and the Alpine server. So let me open my terminal here. And the first thing I want to do is to SSH my servers. So let's SSH into both of these servers. So this central window, this central terminal is Debian. This one is Alpine. And this one, this is Kali itself. So I'm going to start by setting up MDNS in Alpine. So this is this window, and let's start by updating our package list. And let's also upgrade our packages. Now, as I said, Linux uses a service called Avahi for, to allow, to enable MDNS. This is the service that publishes and listens to MDNS-related packets. This is how we're going to know the other hosts on the local network and which name each one of them uses. Now, since Alpine arrives so minimalistic, it doesn't have the Avahi service pre-installed. So we have to install it and it's very simple, but it does require two packages, Avahi and Avahi tools. So let's install these two packages. And the two packages are installed. This is done. Now, if we run rc status a now, Avahi is still nowhere to be found. So even though we installed the service, it's not running yet. So let's go ahead and run this service. So Avahi will be available and will function. We need to do two things. First, we need to use rc update to edit. And then we also need to start the service itself. And if we run rc status now, we can see here in the run level default Avahi daemon, which means that the Avahi service, the Avahi daemon is now running and we should be able to use it. Now, Avahi has a very useful utility that allows us to browse, to see all of the available neighbors, all of the available devices that also support Avahi within our local network. So let's run, let's use the Avahi browse utility. And to see all of them, we add the dash A flag. And we can see that Alpine publishes itself. On top of that, we can see these two things. They are from my physical network because currently I'm using VirtualBox and I'm using a bridged network. So these two things are actually from my physical, from the Wi-Fi network that I'm currently using. But what we see here, this is Alpine itself. So it's currently publishing to the multicast DNS. Let's move on to Debian. Let's see how to install Avahi for MDNS on Debian. So let me start by updating my packages. And in Debian, the package we need to install is called Avahi Utils.
Next, we need to start the Avahi service. So I'm going to use systemctl start and enable to start this service, the Avahi service. And once again, it's called Avahi daemon, but in Debian, we also have to specify the dot .service extension. And let's also start it. And to make sure that it's actually running, let's check its current status. And we can see that it's active and running. So let's try to run the same Avahi browse, the same command we used on Alpine, and let's see if we can see anything. And it seems like we can see Alpine, but f and we can also see this device from my physical network, but for some reason, we cannot see Debian itself. It seems like Debian doesn't publish its own local domain to the network. So to do that, we're missing one more step. And Avahi comes with a configuration file that we have to edit. So I'll use nano to edit this file. And it can be found here in Avahi folder. The file itself is called avahidemon.conf. And here we need to scroll down a bit. There are two, two settings we need to change. And they can both be found here in the publish category. And here they are. Publish H info. We have to change it from no to yes. And also this one, public workstation, from no to yes. So let's save this file and exit. And now we need to restart the Avahi daemon. So let's do that. And once again, I'm going to try the Avahi browse command. And now we can see both of them. We can see Debian and we can also see Alpine. Let's move on now to Kali itself. So we already installed and enabled Avahi in both Alpine and Debian. Now I'm going to do it in Kali. So since Kali is based on Debian, it's going to be very similar. So once again, I'm going to start by updating my packages. And while this update is taking place, let me remind you that if you want to break into Linux and cybersecurity, I offer personalized training to get you job ready. Message me to start your journey. Okay, so the update is done. Let's go ahead and install the Avahi utils. And just like we had to do in Debian, we're going to have to edit the configuration file. So once again, it can be found in Etsy Avahi. Once again, I'm going to scroll down. And here is the publish category. And I'm going to change publish H info to yes. And also publish workstation to yes. And let's save this file. And now we need to enable and start the Avahi service. And I don't know if you noticed, but as soon as I started this service, we could see here in Alpine that the Kali machine was identified. So now Alpine is also aware that we have in the same local network a machine called Kali. So let's now try again to run Avahi Browse in all of our systems. And you can see that each of them can see the other two, and of course itself too. So Kali can see Kali, Debian and Alpine. And the same thing goes for Debian and for Alpine. And now that we set this up, I can, for example, ping my other machines using their domains. So let's try, for example, pinging this machine, the Debian machine, ping. And instead of specifying the IP address of this machine, I'm simply going to use its host name, Debian 12 in this case. And we have to use the .local domain name. And we can see the response for the ping. And of course, I can do the same thing from, for example, Alpine and ping the Debian machine using its name, using its domain name. And I can also even SSH the Debian machine or the Alpine machine. So for example, let's try to SSH the Alpine machine. And since the host name of my Alpine machine is Alpine, this is what I'm going to use here, alpine.local. And we successfully SSH'd the Alpine machine, and we don't even have to know or remember its IP address. 